Hello everyone, Elias5891 here. We are continuing with new St Super Steven Brothers with Stage 1C Donut Dungeon. Um, this is a re-recording of this because I did lose the audio of the original footage uh, of this stage only, thank goodness. So, we'll go through this stage a little quicker than maybe I normally would have. Um, this stage definitely ramps up the difficulty. That particular red coin there is a great example of how um, things have definitely ramped up. You gotta be a little more gambly, a little more risky, a little more... You gotta, you gotta just play a little better to be getting the red coins at this point than you did in the first few stages. Checkpoint. Um, stage introduces us to drive... or no, we had drive bombs. Introduces us to donut blocks everywhere. It also has an interesting aesthetic choice that I'm really really fond of. And that is how, unlike before, where you just kind of had some sporadic, uh, crap, how you had some sporadic uh, blocks of some sort in the ground or in the wall, here it's perfectly tiled, perfectly checkered. That adds so much to the aesthetic of this dungeon, I think. Uh, and it's definitely something that I really, really enjoy about this castle. Even more so than the original stages, which, to be fair, were also nice. But this is just taking it up to 11. I don't know why I did that, because now I gave hit the top row. Get all these coins. And this bonus room here, I don't know if this is intentional, but it reminds me of the one from uh, Two Pyramid in Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh, very similar mechanic. Uh, and now... We have a boss. Uh, it is a spiny. It's a big spiny, specifically. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Get back up here. Uh, the idea is the piranha plant actually has your key. Uh, however, the piranha plant is invincible because you can't jump on a piranha plant. So you've got to give him the hot foot. Dry Bones is smart enough not to run off into a pile of lava. Uh, but dropping them into the lava gives you the key, which in turn gives you access to the X, and we can move on to the next day world. Uh, this, I think, is kind of an excellent end of... Ooh. New record, extra bonus. I think this really encapsulates a good end of world stage. It's extra challenging in comparison to the stages before it. It adds new features still. Uh, interesting boss fight. A simple one, but still very doable. Um, also of note, and I haven't mentioned this before, uh, but if you look at, not the thumbnail, but the long stage preview here, especially on this donut dungeon, you can definitely see the sort of castle-y feel up top. And a lot of that section you can't get to in the stage. The little towers to the left or the right of the bonus room. None of that's accessible during play. So to even have that there, I think, is just an excellent touch. Uh, and you'll see the Fishy Tails kind of does it. Um, you don't see a ton of it in these other stages, but you do see a little bit of, you know, intentional design that really showcases or is showcased in these little thumbnails. Uh, but that's going to get us to World 1, which means we are heading into World 2. 2-1 two, is Prickle Up Pogies. Uh, now, I've not played these stages. I turned this one on and did not get anywhere. Um, is this an airship world, it sounds like? Alright, now, uh, Super Mario Maker is known for not having pogies. So, uh, looks like we're simulating pogies with a bunch of spinies on top of a piranha. Uh, pretty good choice. I mean, it definitely serves the purpose. Uh, now, at this point, I am blind to where the red coins are, so be aware of that. There's going to be a little more uh, searching around and not speeding through the stages at this point. So, if you liked how quick I was going through them, sorry, that's going to kind of drop off now. Okay, well, there's a red coin. And I do notice, aesthetically, we kept the uh, checker board 
lantern for the ground and the background blocks. Oh, another SMB1 tribute. Uh, this time to stage 1 2. And a bonus round that had uh, a block of 20 coins, I want to say. And there might even be the one up up here, which I dropped, but that's okay. Pipe's more important. Got the fireball so I can kill the quote unquote pokey this time. And yep, coins in there. Nice touch. I do appreciate all of the, uh, oops, all the throwback tributes to uh, the older Mario games. Uh, I don't recognize all of them, but the ones I do, I definitely enjoy. Pop down here, get my third coin. Take the key. There's the door, so we must be at the end. Uh, I saw this led to a pipe earlier. Exclamation point. Uh, another pokey. So this is the first one where I feel that if you're not paying attention and not being careful, you could die in the bonus round. Uh, let's get up on top of these blocks and get out of here. So, adding a little bit of danger to the bonus rounds, and I, I, I like that. There we go. Um, definitely definitely feel the stages are evolving. That one was definitely tougher than the other ones. The tall pokey towers were a little large, a little, uh... A little large and definitely, uh... Definitely easy to get injured on. Uh, I didn't. Well, I wasn't spin jumping on them, which I could have done to bounce on them, but that's okay. Uh, also, with a world record of 23 seconds, definitely a speed runnable stage. Let's move to 2 2, Lucky 2 Lakes. Uh, I assume we're going to be introduced to Lucky 2 here. Uh, we're back on the ground now. Uh, got the little lakes, which makes sense considering the title. Prep stage 2 1 was kind of the airship taking us to. Uh, let's play the stage normally first. We'll check it for cheese factor uh, afterwards. Oops. That was stupid. Checkpoint and no coins. Oh, there's lots of coins up here. Regular ones, but coins nonetheless. In that case, let us... That's where Lackey 2 was. Alright. So, I think I'm going to have to come back and get that. So, we'll keep an eye out for the other coins, but we're not going to get them this time. I bet that's a mushroom. Whoops. Alright, so I know Lackey 2 coming, so let's get up here. There he is. Boink. Okay, so there's a pipe there. That's a one-up, don't care. That's a pipe. Okay, so let's go through this pipe first. There's a red coin, but I'm small and can't get in. You know what? Let's just go ahead and start the stage over. We are, we are apparently practicing for the speed run, getting all the deaths out of the way now. There we go. Come here, Lucky 2. Yep, throwing the usual spinies. Alright, so let's get this cloud from the get-go. Come up here. Fives, coin, 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 coin. And that leads us into that first pipe we saw. Okay. So this is almost certainly the first red coin. Ooh. I would like that, please. Thank you. Which then will make that a breeze. Potential pun uh, intended. And this, in turn, aside from letting me get up to uh, all this stuff without the cloud, make stealing the cloud over here that much easier. Take the extra
extra one up. Come on. There you are. Are you kidding me? I gotta know if there's something in there. Haha, there is. And I still get it. Oh, you son of a... Come here. I don't even need the cloud anymore. Maybe. I just want to kill you for that. Uh, looks like it's just coins up this... Nope, oh, there's pipe I haven't gone in. That's two in the sky now. Alright, there's that coin. I'm not too worried about getting all these coins. So let's move on. That's two reds. Got one to go somewhere. Woo, that was dangerous. And there's the last one. Wouldn't be so bad. There we go. Ta-da, bonus. So the Lakitus, they could have easily been uh, completely nerfed into some useless opponent. You know, stick a... By doing that, too. But they save that for the bonus room only, which is precisely where you want to see it, is in a bonus room only. So, that's a nice touch. I like that they, uh, they use the Lakitu as the enemy it should be, not as the coin spammer that it frequently is. And there's another stage down. Alright, let's look at one more today. Two, two, lucky two lakes down. Let's finish up this episode with two, three, mutts of the pipes. Sounds like chain chomps, and looks like we're back in the airship format. Again, some checkerboarding on the bottom, nice. Although, uh, looks like we're using a lot of uh, aesthetics just up here due to the nature of the stage, which is very much fine. Mm, the placements are such that you could get hit by them if you're not careful. Uh, section you can only get to if you still got your big man. I was curious to see if it would take away that block. I mean, there's, it's not hard to get back up there, but that's an interesting, interesting minor little thing that I kind of was not expecting. Uh, let's go up here. Ah, just coins. Pop on down. Again, nothing of value. Let's take uh, Mr. Red Shell with me. And we are now in an underground section. Okay. Chain Chomp's still the name of the game. There's the next red coin. A little chain of Koopas. Move over, guys. Yeah, if you did not know, you can, uh... Koopa Shells will knock out Chain Chomp's. Assuming it hits them. Okay. Uh, let's check the bottom pipe. Uh, let's not do something stupid and get stuck between the pipes. There's another fire flower. Nice. Which would have been very hard to get had I uh, done the bottom row first. Okay. There's my red coin next to the giant chain chomp. I think I'm going to have to damage boost at this point. I'm not careful. Oh, haha. -ha. I got it. See Oh. I thought I got away safely. I did not, but that's okay. We got the coin. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else to go into. So we'll pop up. We will take the red coin door. Pretty straightforward room. Um, I was going to comment that a lot, but not all. But a lot of the uh, little mini rooms like this have uh, utilized the 
stage gimmick, for lack of a better term, and interesting. Hmm. Introducing another little idea to us, the falling uh, blue platforms, without really doing anything with it yet. Maybe a precursor of what's to come? If so, that would be interesting. And I'm kind of wondering... I don't think this is how I'm supposed to get up here, either. I'm just cheesing this stage all over, it looks like. Yeah, I think I'm just supposed to... So, a little extra way to get to the top of the flagpole. Um, what I was saying is, it's... I haven't been keeping proper track, but it feels like most of the stages have three one-ups in them. And I wonder if that's true, and if so, you know, maybe that's something we can be paying attention to as we go. Uh, so I'm going to wrap up the stage, uh, wrap this up. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have anything you'd like to uh, comment, feel free to do so. Uh, and that's going to wrap this one up for this time. Uh, next time, uh, we will have some more stages made up, and we will see what else we can find here in, in SSB. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great one.